The certified most accurate forecast from First Alert Chief Meteorologist Jamie Arnold. Well, skies have finally cleared out here as we head into this evening and we're getting set to head into a warm and windy forecast heading through the next 24 hours. We're 63 right now across the Grand Strand. I'm just going to kind of hold there as all of that warmer weather continues to blow in here with those gusty winds. And let's get you out the door tomorrow morning. It's mild, it's breezy, and it's about where it is right now. 62 starting the day tomorrow in Myrtle Beach, 61 in Windy Hill, 61 also for Carolina Forest and Florence. We're going to hold on to those gusty breezes all day long tomorrow, giving us a warm, windy and spring like day. Upper 70s to around 80 for all of us and skies will be a whole lot brighter than what we saw out there today with a good deal of sunshine. And we're going to keep that warm weather and generally dry weather going as we head from Tuesday into Wednesday. Notice daytime temperatures all the way through Thursday into the mid 70s on the beaches, 80 to 82 inland. The next rain chance coming up for Thursday when we could see a couple of isolated showers that try to move through. Not really a big weather maker though. We're going to have to wait until Friday for that to come in and that one still has some question marks with it as far as what kind of impacts it's going to bring to our area. The setup we're dealing with for Friday though includes a pretty strong cold front that's going to blow its way into the Carolinas. That's going to run into all of the unseasonably warm air in place, kind of that typical springtime clash of the air masses. At the same time, though, we're also going to have a lot of very strong winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. All of those ingredients in place say, OK, yeah, we're going to need to watch Friday for that risk of severe weather. But what we're going to be missing is a lot of high humidity, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. It may be a little bit on the dry side for any kind of significant rain or thunderstorms, but with enough energy in place, it's a forecast we're going to need to watch as we do already have a level two severe weather risk in place across all of our area during the day on Friday. And again, we got a couple of days to kind of fine tune that forecast. At a minimum, it's going to be very windy around here on Friday. We'll just have to fine tune that forecast for any kind of thunderstorm or severe weather potential. So your Myrtle Beach 7 day forecast showing 78 tomorrow, gusty breezes, mid 70s, Wednesday into Thursday. A couple of light showers possible Thursday and notice Friday, a windy and warm day. And for now, we're holding that risk of any kind of showers or thunderstorms at 30%, but we'll be watching it. Then we do turn a bit cooler by the weekend, 70 Saturday, low 60s on Sunday with night times back into the 40s. That's finally a lot closer to where we should be for this time of the year. But notice even the 10 day forecast occasionally bringing in some of those 70s. Inland, we've got those temperatures at or just above 80 all the way through Friday. A couple of showers possible on Thursday, then very gusty winds and that risk of a couple of storms on Friday before here too. We start to cool those temperatures down and even bring back a couple of 30s at night by the time we head into early next week.